Cancer. Welcome to your October uh, tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. So what is the central theme for Cancer's reading today? What's the central theme of Cancer's reading today? Central theme of Cancer's reading today. I have trust. There's just trust here. There's innocence, beauty, a change, a transformation. I see a happier time. I see the sun starting to come out. Yeah, I see you working really hard. You're working really hard. And there's a um, calm after the storm. I see a new journey just starting. You're working really hard. There's a rebalancing, a calm after the storm. It's a major life event. And I see a new journey starting. I see that there could potentially be like being left out in the cold or some poverty. There's sadness here. I don't see any teamwork. There's no teamwork here. I see that there's an obsession. There's holding on to the past, unable to let go of the past. There's a feeling of hopelessness and aimless drifting. It could be with an Aquarius. Where it's bringing in that energy of somebody who's very rebellious. I do see a release of anxiety, though. Anxiety is being released. And ultimately, I see victory. But it's a hard won victory. So I see that you need to trust in the process. You need to learn from the past, but stay present. Stay in the present moment. And I see that you're working really hard on this. <clears throat> and there's this new free-spirited energy that's coming out. And it's rebalancing. It's tempering. And I see justice all ultimately being done. And then I see that you're leaving the past behind you. And you're looking towards the future. But you're not totally present. You're looking towards the future. I see a lot of growth, a lot of ambition here, and growing towards the future in October. I see there's two different stories that could happen. If you do go towards the past, I see that you are just completely, oh, just in so much pain. Um, there could be extreme poverty if you go back to the past. If you go back to the past, I see there's a lack of teamwork. There's an obsession, unable to let go. Things that need to be let go of from the past. And you know what this is. It's something that you need to let go of, but you're obsessed and you're afraid to let go of this. And I see a loss of faith. But you don't have to do that. You can go in the future direction. And then I see a release from anxiety. And I see an ultimate victory. You're a battle-weary soldier, but ultimately you get victory here. And you just need to trust in the process. But if you do go back to the past, then I do see that there's going to be extreme pain. I'm, I see that there's going to be a lack of teamwork. I see that there's just unfinished business. And if it has to do with an Aquarius, a Scorpio or a uh, Capricorn, I would say leave that in the past, definitely. If it has to do with an air sign or using your logic and reason, then do that. Air sign would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, specifically, I'm seeing more Aquarius energy here. And I see things are almost ready to end. Like there's an ending here. It's right there at nine, right before the ending. I'm seeing a lot of three, 
six, nine. And then there's a five and an eight. So I see something happened in August that you worked really hard on it. And I see like towards the middle of October, the hard work is paying off and you're able to set sail on a new journey. And you're going, I see, I see you leaving the past behind you. But if you do go in the past, it's pretty nasty. But if you go on this new voyage, then you're you're actually starting something new and things are coming to a completion it's actually really beautiful there are some hard lessons here to learn but you just need to trust in the process and grow there's a lot of growth here threes are all about growth and we also have the butterfly on the trust which is all about growth change a metamorphosis so i see you growing Well, that's all I have for that story. Let's see if there's any other story. Right. I see that there is a failed relationship here. It could be a work relationship or a romantic relationship. It was toxic, codependent. It was like a love addiction type relationship where it was bad, but you were addicted to it. Um, they were a master communicator. They were the king of communication. They were a really good communicator. If there was a friendship here. I see a lot of joy and happiness. This is somebody who could run a business in their sleep, totally ambitious, on top of their game, that brings people together, a socialite. But I see it turn like physically violent. It, it just became nasty. It became very selfish, self-centered. And this change happened fast. It was a fast change. I see a lot of conflict here. Uh, there's massive conflict between this toxic relationship and the failed relationship. It's definitely conflicting. There's Gemini energy and there's Capricorn energy, which are two conflicting energy. One is earth that hates change, and one is air that is all about change. It is the winds of change. So things had to change, but you didn't want them to. And this person really knew how to talk. This was a sweet talker. And you were friends. I mean, you got along so well, and it was so happy, so joyous. And you really looked up and admired this person. This person, um, you know, can do things that other people can't. But then it got, it got dark, and it got dark fast, and they flipped, they changed, and they turned into something that was just ruthless, a tyrant. But I see that was in the past. And that's what if you go back to, if you go back to that, it's going to hurt you. That was all in the past. I don't see any of that being in the future. The only thing that I see in the future is a release of anxiety and victory, ultimate victory. That's all I see in your future. Well, Cancer, I'm sorry that this is so short, but it was just kind of clear cut. I got two different stories and both of them mesh together and that's all I have. So thank you Cancer for joining me today.